Peace, peace, peace. What's going on, y'all? It's the Pinoy Podcast. I'm Toast Johnson. Yeah, here we go again. We got another, another special guest with us. You know what I mean? And uh, this is my homie, too. He's an incredible hip-hop artist. Uh, incredible, I don't like to say battle rapper, because the, the rapper shit is, you know, and P. Bills is much more than just a, a fucking rapper. Excuse me, of a, sorry to curse, P., uh, then a rapper. Hey, it's not that. wrong with that. It only gets dirty. Yeah, you know how we do. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. But, um, you know, uh, a battle rap artist, I would call him. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. a father. And uh, currently, right now, one of the strongest brothers I know. You know what I mean? So it's an honor to sit here and chat with the one and only P. Bills. Welcome, welcome to the Pinoy Podcast. Salute, bro. Thank you, appreciate that, man. It's an honor to sit here, talk to you too, Toast. I know long, long time coming, man. Yeah, man. You know, you know, I, I guess I had to get a podcast to, you know, to really link with you, you know, because I'm trying. I was trying to, you know, get some tracks to you, do yeah, something, know, whatever. Man, you, you know, know what I mean? Get tracks. <laughs> supposed to do videos. But, but you know, it only gets dirtier, meaning it gets grimier, and I'm gonna still send you something, and we still do something. You know what I mean? But I'm glad yeah. I got this. Still I'm glad happen. I got this um this platform to talk to you. You know what I mean? You you are definitely someone that um that I follow on Instagram. Um, let them know uh, early on. We're gonna say it about five times, six, seven times. But let them know your Instagram tag. Um, uh, my Instagram, y'all, is um P Bills three one three to nine one four underscore O T M. Basically, everything is lowercase letters, so you spell that P B I L L S three one three. T O nine one four underscore O T M and the O T M that's my battle rap crew. I'm with out the mud. You know I got the gear on. Salute, hat, salute, salute O T M. We gonna get in, we gonna we we gonna get into uh, O T M and 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 uh, all about that crew and how y'all formed up and uh, and what y'all about. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. But um, yeah, definitely. You know I follow uh, follow P Bills on Instagram. Um, you know, uh, he came um, upon my radar through uh, through a mutual friend that that we share, uh, Kevin Ventures. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Who's who's out there doing this thing? Salute, salute to you, nephew. You know what I, I mean? And um, killing it right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it was just uh, you know, a natural progression as far as like watching P. Bills, <clears throat> you know, do his thing and. And you know, I'm I'm thinking he just straight up on some hip hop, you know, rapping shit. And then, you know, I see him in the battle ring, and I see him going yeah. head up with motherfuckers and destroying them. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh yeah, shit, P, P got some shit going on with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I so I'm surprised with that all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you know, it's uh, it's it's definitely dope, man. But um, I'm gonna start it off like uh. You know, uh, my favorite question, as as I like to say, is, um, you know, when when did you first like start? Uh, what's your first recollection of hip hop? What's your? Uh, uh, and then I'll ask you after that. When did you make the decision to get into hip hop? Well, my um, uh, my first recollection of hip hop, it, it mainly starts with my parents, really, because both my mom and dad is is, is super hip hop heads, like just. Just early, I was listening to Jay Z with my mom, The Kingdom Come, during mm -hmm. reflecting on memories of that. So, you know, mm -hmm. my mom, she used to even rap herself when she was younger. So, they they always put me like around like four or five. Like, they always had rap playing around me, whether it was NWA, um, what Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, Big Daddy Kane, Cool Mo D. Like, they always had rap just playing around me. And you know, some of the songs I, I got on to, I like I liked a lot. A lot yeah. of times, you know, they had to block. They had to block certain things from me. Like as I got older, and heard the heard the Biggie Ready to Die album. I'm like, all right, I see why yeah, they skipped certain things. You, yeah, you it's said, a skit you on said. there. I think he's having having sex in the studio or something like that. As yeah, I got older, right. I'm like, oh, all right, I see why. I see why yes. my mom and dad skipped that. But that, that's one of my all time yeah. favorite skits of all time. B. <laughs> yeah, that's that's getting crazy. As I got older, see what that skit was. I say, yo, this nigga big is crazy. Yeah, you said NWA too. You know what I mean. So, you know, it, 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 it was it was real. It was real. You know what I mean. But NWA. that, 
but that's dope. You know, I mean, that's like, you know, really being um birthed into it, being birthed into the culture. You know what I mean? And, I and listen, like yeah, my parents played Wu Tang, LL, KRS One. So like so we dope. went out to stores and bought CDs. I seen cassette tapes growing up, like seen it all growing up. It all started with my parents, basically. And that that's that that's dope. And it and it just uh naturally carried over, you know, to you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so when when was it when you like uh when you was like, all right, you know what? You know, I listen to it and all that and I love it. But I think I wanna, you know, throw my hat in the ring as far as being an artist. Well, let me see, uh at the age of at the age of thirteen, that's it was basically twenty years ago. That's when I wrote my first rap, but at 14, that's when I started taking it serious, first going to the studio and recording things and all that. And then by like the age 17, 18, it's when I felt comfortable to finally put a project out all the way. And I was back when I was calling myself P. Bills the Boss. I had a money sign at the end of my name mm-hmm. and all that thinking I had, you know, doing the young flashy shit, but it's like, I ain't had no bread like that. So as I grew, that? I'm like, that was it was huh? that era though. It was it was that era. You know what I mean? It was that era yeah. when niggas started really started flashing that dough and being on some, you know, on some shit. But just the you thing, know I, mean? though, I had I had the dollar sign at the end of my name. Like I worked and all that, but I'm, I got the dollar sign on the end of my name. Like I really got the bread like that. And as I grew, I'm yeah. like, nah, I ain't. but it was it was a fun moment. But I'm like, I don't need the dollar yeah. sign. I was calling myself P Bills the boss back then. Yeah. My name was super long as shit. Like <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. That <laughs> shit. That should still sound right. B P P Bills the boss, nigga. What? You know what yeah. I mean? Shit. You know what I mean? But um, when when you yeah. when you uh when you the first time when you went to the studio, I mean, you 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 had to create something. You had to write something, right? Well, I went. You know what's crazy about me? I always go to the studio prepared. Like I went. I went there prepared with like first time I went. I had three songs written. That I knew I wanted to um, record already. So now what, in the studio, I had to learn the recording process more. Like I learned ins and outs and stuff like that, punching. So it was like it took a little little while, but I'm a quick learner. So mm-hmm. it might have took me like 30 minutes to catch on to everything. And once I caught on, like I basically had the songs done in two hours. And then I let the engineers just mix them down. You You wrote them in a 16 bar frame. Did you know about that already? Yeah, like I know about I know about the sixteen bar frame. I know about each bar being a four count setup. No, that's that's a little stuff mm-hmm. I figured out just on my on my own from listening to to listening to hip hop a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you definitely and it's crazy. Still- a lot a lot of people a lot of people got uh, is amazed by that that I learned the four bar count on my own. Some people be think I'm lying, but I'm like nah, just I caught on to it. That's a true student, you know what I mean? That's a true student of, of the culture, you know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to have, like, you know, somebody come. I mean, if they're there and, they, and you're fortunate to have somebody, you know, look, you know, teach you and say, yo, this is what it is, 16 bars or whatever. But for you to do that on your own, to listen and to know, like, okay, it's 16 bars and this is the hook. And the hook is the the hook is four bars on this song, but on this uh, on the other song is two. You know what I mean? And knowing, you know, how like how you were saying you learned about you know punching in and out and all like that. So yeah, you was you was you was prepared on your first trip. You know what I mean? As far as having songs yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. And then you said what when it got to what point, you know, for, for your first project? First project was like between seven when I was like 17, 18. I think I really dropped that at, at 18. It was called it's called Boss of All Bosses Volume One. You know, it's supposed to be two more volumes, but it ne- that never happened because I end up evolving and changing things. Right, right. Is that still out there? Um, this was all like when when CDs was, you know, you had uh, to burn CDs. Uh, CDs okay. This is like that's how far yeah. I go. But this but you, this is before streaming streaming services was out. But you still got when that I dropped CD? my very first project. You still oh, got I that still CD? got I still got one. I still got a couple copies. You should. Uh, well, make more copies, and you should upload that motherfucker. That's content. You know what I mean? I want to hear that. You know what I mean? That you know. Is, I think I need to upload that. I got one on my first mixtape. It's like one original song. That's my. That's my beat. Like other than that, I was like on everybody else's beat. I was on some like Little Wayne, no selling yeah, but- shit. Like taking beats and 
and remix yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. But you know, shit, you still put that motherfucker out. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. it's catalog. It's crazy you say that right now. Cause just before I talked to you, at least like an hour and a half ago, me and my mom was talking about my old music, and she was saying to me like she felt like I was ahead of my time with certain things, and that I should go back and remaster the joint. So to hear you say that now was like, yo, I gotta say, I gotta do it. Come on now, please let me know. Hit me up in the DM, call me or whatever the fuck you got to do. Let me know when this when when you do that. You know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, that's you know that's that's catalog and people like to hear shit. You know what I mean? The more shit that you got out there, people want to hear and they eat that shit right the fuck up. Um, now, now, project of mine that can be found on on the website if you go to thatpiff.com yeah. and you type in P bills, think about it. That's a that's my like second tape I did. That's that's on there. Think that that one got a little more, yeah. That, that one got a little more original songs on there, but I'm still hopping on other people's beats. But it's called Think right, about it. right, right. No doubt. I mean, um, random question: How many songs you think you you've written so far? Uh, so far, I really think about. I think maybe at least all together. I say it's maybe 200. Might be a little more, but I'm going to go 200. Yeah, 200 songs. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's a lot of, that's, you know, that tells me that's a lot of work I think in you, you putting it in there. Cause a lot of, a lot of artists might be like, I wrote five, 10, maybe three songs. Or you got uh, the, the thing where, you know, everybody like to say, I don't write. It's all, you know, it's all in, it's all in my mind and shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, to the, 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 the have like about 200 songs so far written, you know what I mean? That's, that's work. That's journey. That, that, that's a, a, a strong work ethic. That's a dedication to the culture. You know what I mean? You know? And that's it. That's why I yeah. fucks with you. Yeah. That's why I fucks with you. Cause I know you, you, you love this, uh, you love this culture and you love this music. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely. What, um, what made you want to get into battle rap, man? Oh, as far as far as battle rap go, um, what made me get into that is um, starting off with um, watching watching a lot of the Smack DVDs. You know, they had a little battles at the end, mm -hmm. and it's crazy because I used to go so crazy getting them DVDs when I was younger, mm -hmm. to the point the bootleg man he knew me by name and he knew what I was coming for. So I will always watch those battles. And it's right. just like I always looked at my my lyrics and stuff like that. I'm like, I got in bars to do battle rap. So I always jumped in it. Then I'm a person who I grew up with my family who like to roast and crack jokes on people. So it's what we do. So I'm like, oh, this is my realm of things. I can I can jump in that shit. Yeah, this is natural. So you know I Yeah, so I I, I jumped in it, even though my first my first on cam battle wasn't until I was like twenty six. So all the mm -hmm. battles, like most of my battles I did is like mm -hmm. shit like like the off cam joints. And a lot of those battles is like how at that time, like you would have to have a bunch of rhymes right. loaded up in your mind and all that. And remember that sometimes in order for somebody to win, whoever ran out of bars, right. you lost. Like you run out of raps, you yeah. don't lose. Or yeah. somebody stopped it on that. They'll vote for you like but You'd have to have, you know, you have to have a full clip. You know what I mean? You couldn't go in there and have full oh, full shit. clip, like yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Full uh, you know when um, you remember your first, your first, uh, your first bout, your first battle. First shot, it's in my oh uh, man, that was in my it was in my high school cap cafeteria, fresh mm -hmm. fresh freshman year. I battled, I battled somebody that was a junior. I, for, I forgot his name. I smoked dude. Guy got him out of here real well. He he had some shit though. I ain't gonna sit here in yeah. front like he was garbage, but yeah. I just I just got him out of there. What 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 I want to talk about with the battle rap joint is matter of fact, uh before I even get into that, right? When you was getting the, the DVDs and and uh being inspired, who uh who was some of your favorite favorite battle rappers? Favorite Oh well, um, the main one I would always watch was was 
was Loaded Lux. Mm. Mm-hmm. That was Salute. that was my that was my top one. Salute. And then I like I liked um I like Murder Mook in, in that era. Mm-hmm. You know, he was he was crazy. Who else was nice mm-hmm. from that time? Um Reed Dollars. Mm-hmm. What's I watched? Um Sirius Jones and you know right, Sirius right. Jones is still is still battling now, going crazy with it. Right. Right. Also, I like I like Man Papa. You know, he was he was snuffing niggas at that time and all that shit, that crazy shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, shit was about crazy. two and a, he'll he do two and a half rounds before shit break out, man. But entertaining like a and motherfucker. Yeah. And mm-hmm. shout out to Math though. You know, he got his oh, my yeah. expert opinion podcast mm-hmm. popping, which I watch from time to time. So Definitely dope. dope. So dope for sure, man. And I like the the, the transition that Math made, you know, from battle rapper to you know actually having skills you know as as a, a as a yeah as a journalist and a podcaster you know what i mean so you know definitely salute you know what i mean but um yeah like uh what 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 you think is the state of you know uh the battle rap culture or game now you know is it is it it seemed like it's, all- it seemed like it took a dip then you think so? I mean, to me, I think, I think the state of battle, it might, it might have took a dip as far as like how, maybe how all the drama comes into play. But the way, if you look at Smack, how he got things going right now, he got a URL app. It's called, because you don't call it URL, he got the URL TV app. And then, you know, he getting battles at Chris Brown House and all that stuff. So battle rap is kind of like a little more commercialized tool. You got Drake. Helping put cars together, dropping money. So it's like it helping bring it more eyes to it. Yeah, I guess, you know, the definition of my, when I say uh, it took a dip, you know, I get, yeah. you know, when, when hearing you say all that and definitely all that's true. That meaning that, um, you know, I still like the grungy days of it. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. happy that <clears throat> that brothers is getting paid, you know what I mean? For their skills, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. You know, as far as the com- commercialization of it, you know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm still not a fan of that because I like, I like the grunge. Yeah, you want, you want to you know keep I mean? it. Yeah, like, let's get yeah, yeah, you know, so, you know, definitely. Yeah. But um, what whatever it is that, that can get the, you know, get the young brothers and the other brothers out there that's doing whatever, you know, older brothers and vets that's been doing it, that, that can get them paid and get them in the spotlight then fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? As long as they don't have to uh, compromise they set themselves uh, in any way or, or they souls, you know what I mean? For that bread. Then, with things evolving and yeah. so much money flying around, these artists are looking at it like all this money flying around. I'm not just going to battle on the street corner. You just put this dude up there and I could yeah. get that get that, yeah. type, get that type of bread. But some yeah. battle is also going to be putting full effort. They be complaining about the price but then they get on stage and spit some garbage, and I'll be like, "Wait a second, you just complain about a price, and then you get up there with this bullshit. Like, mm-hmm, what's mm-hmm. going on here?" See, it's a lot of saturation with it too. You know what I mean? Like back in the days, it was only a, a you know a few kind of outlets of it. You know what I mean? And now that shit is saturated, and everybody from all over the country, you know, got their battle rappers. You know what I mean? And 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 that's cool. You know what I mean? But yeah. um everybody everybody's not a battle rapper you know what i mean <laughs> you know you hear me i went out you good no nah, I'm, I'm good just fixing okay. my phone up okay They're like you know yeah but i definitely like since you want to see like gritty i got one of my favorite type gritty battles that i'll tell you to watch i don't know if you've seen it but it's on okay. it's on rbe they, they battle in the parking lot ill will versus calico that's that's one of my favorite battles right there it had to it had the gritty field in Parking lot, and mm-hmm. they had people surround them. Ill Will mm-hmm. versus Calico. That's one of my mm-hmm. favorite battles, right? There. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sound. I'm so that that, that gritty feel you looking for, I think. Yeah. It, you watch that. I think that got. I think that battle got the gritty feel you looking for. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. Even though I, I I'm quite sure I'm, uh, I saw that joint, but if not, I'm gonna check it out again. But that's the that's the infamous joint, you know, uh, famous joint that they did. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, man, what, 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 you know, uh, one more thing with the battle rap, with you being a battle rapper, what I always, um, what I always admired 
is is the discipline the discipline of a battle rapper that's why i know i couldn't be one right you know because yeah. you know uh it's like you being face to face with somebody and you 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 going in you saying what you want to say about that person in a poetic way mm-hmm. you know what i mean but you know that's a true testament of uh of discipline emotion uh uh skill you know all clashing at the same time now like i said i don't know because with a motherfucker yelling in my face and shit like that didn't start talking about family members and all shit type of shit that i didn't saw in battle rap you know what i mean i'm like wow i'm like and you know what there's dudes that do draw the draw the line that's what in, in battle rap Dudes do have contracts. You can put certain things in contracts. You know, that's that's on the higher up. They got contracts where they can say, yo, I don't want this said. But even if you're on the lower tier, you're not there, I tell everybody, like, you should talk to your opponent beforehand and say things and let them know things that you don't really want. Said, said like that. Like me, for example, I take myself. Like, I don't aim at nobody. I don't aim at nobody kids. Like, that's, that's off limits for me to aim at kids. But I will be honest. I know I got kids myself, so if I see you got kids, all right, I'll look at the look at your kids. All right, so yeah, get back to what we were saying. Also, as far before I get back to the battle rap, yeah. Yeah. So, so salute to you. Didn't you have um? Wasn't one of your beats on I ninety five? Wasn't R J Payne rapping on one of your beats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute, salute the I ninety five and salute the R J Payne. Salute, salute That's that, um, man. that fuck your life joint is crazy. You know what I mean? You know, I'm I'm still playing it. Motherfuckers is mad about it, you know, secretly mad about it. But, you know, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's it's dope. I'm glad that it, it did what it did. And I hope it continue to do things. You know what I mean? So yeah. definitely shout out to, to, to Nim. Shout out to, uh, to Suede Sever. Shout out to RJ Payne. Shout out to the whole staff. Peace. Definitely. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fine. But thank you. Thank you, P. Thank you. Thank you yeah, for that. I got to salute you, man. That's, yeah, that's real you. work right there. Thank you, man. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, the discipline of um uh of being a battle rapper. You know what I mean? Like I said, I I, I don't think I, I I have it, and I salute you for being that strong. You know what I mean? But what what goes well, into honestly, that? Every, everybody has a line that they don't that they don't want cross, and that's why it's best for people to you know talk to their opponent. Right, but right. a lot of a lot of other dudes they be doing too much. Like some dudes be up there touching on stage, want to do all that pocket tapping and bumping. And there's some dudes who who's not who's not with that. And it's like right. if you gonna go in there testing somebody, and that person decides to slap the shit out you because you want right. to go against the green and act stupid, you yeah. go in there on yourself. Yeah, I mean, you know, they gotta that person gotta got access it worth it because you know either display your skills but all the, the gimmicks and the antics you know what i mean they yeah. have to be that shit has to be surgical it just can't be some dumb shit like i said tapping niggas yeah. pockets or getting all in a nigga feel like I, i'm thinking right now because it could uh all that corona shit or whatever the fuck's going on that you can't be all up in the nigga face now like that in battle rap you know what i mean yeah. i niggas used to be like, like three three inches from a nigga face and shit looking at him and she all that shit nigga i ain't Mass or not, you know like what I mean? my first on cam, my first on cam battle I did mm-hmm. seven years ago. I got, I got, po- I got pocket tap. Now in that moment, mm-hmm. I got mad because in my mind, I'm like, the fuck he touching me for? Yeah. But then I had to realize, like, oh, all right, like it ain't nothing crazy. But I, I let that go yeah. real quick. I had, I had got a little mad real quick. But I'm like, nah, yeah, yeah. So that's but, where that discipline come in. That some people can brush certain things off. Other people think- can't do that. Do you think your opponent did that to try to take you out the game quicker? You in, know what I mean? In a way, like, when, when I caught myself, yeah, I, I thought I kind of look at that like, yeah, he probably is trying to just get me get me out of my zone and just because sometimes mm-hmm. dudes do that to get you get you mm-hmm. out of your zone, throw you throw you mm-hmm. off. Like, but mm-hmm. I kept myself together. And then before I was even in this wheelchair, remember I was walking around with the cane, so still battling with right. the cane. A lot of a lot of people was like, yo, somebody knock you down. I'm be ready to knock somebody, and I would tell dudes like, "Yo, don't do too much," because like I'm not coming here to I'm coming here to rap. But my people, if they feel like you're doing too much right. and you knock me down, they gonna fuck this shit up because they right. looking at like, "Yo, he got a disability, so don't be right. trying to do shit on purpose." Right. And there's a lot right, of times right. 
it's certain people I couldn't even bring to my battles because they want to want to come there on some type of time of. It's gonna start being, slapping niggas. Yeah, start slapping them over. Yeah, that type of time. And it's like, yeah, nah, chill. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You know, that's understandable. Like I said, you know, it's uh, you know, all fan love and war, but there's still a uh, a level of respect that has to be uh be there. Even in exactly. battle rap, battle rap don't mean uh uh no respect. It's it's like two exactly. boxes, two boxes that that go and talk shit. Uh, before the bout, but going there and they have a good fucking slug fest, and one comes out yeah. the winner, you you'll see the other one give him a hug. You know what I mean? Good battle, good good job. You got my respect. You know what I mean? So you know, trying to go, you know, um, and like I said, nobody want to see they people. The, I believe the audience want to see good shit. You know, done in a poetic way, but they just don't want to see no gutter disrespect shit. That's not entertaining. You know yeah. what I mean? So you gotta have. But you a, know what's crazy about yeah. some of the battle rap fans? Though they be saying, "Oh, we want to, we want to see that real. She want to see that real." Shit. But then when they get real to a point where a fight happened, then the fans are being awesome. Chill, chill. We don't need that. But wait, you keep saying you want to see all the real shit. Be careful yeah. of what you ask for. You should just be like, yeah. you want to see entertainment without but, fighting. You know, a lot of people will scream that shit, but you the bottom the bottom line, you want to be entertained. You don't want to be like. Damn, man, these niggas fighting. Or oh, these niggas, oh, that was some dumb shit he said. I can't even, I can't even co-sign yeah. that. You know what I mean? It's like you wasting niggas time. Be poetic with it, with your strikes, and be witty with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? With your strikes. Oh, yeah. um, like like, like you said, Loaded Lux. He's very witty, witty with his, uh, with his precision, with his strikes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, even though Loaded Lux is, he's kind of, it's kind of in the cook. A lot of people saying, he lost his last battle. I kind of, I personally feel like he won his last battle to right. one edge. But a lot of people feel like he lost to Gichi Gotti, which I can't right. even be mad at. Gichi yeah, Gotti I, did do his thing. Yeah, I was hearing, I was hearing, I was hearing buzzes that, uh, that Lux won. I didn't see that match, uh, also, but I was hearing, I mean, that Lux lost. But, you know, I mean, it's like, come on, Lux is a fucking legend at this point. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, really, it's like, you know, the, I mean, there really is no losses for him. You know what I mean? He's this is his glory round. He already done won so many motherfucking battles. Like this is just a all this is cherry on top shit. You know what I mean? You know, so it's like him, uh, uh yeah. Head Ice. Head Ice is a very, very witty, uh uh, you know, uh poetic, you know, uh uh battle artist who who knows how to strike, strike at those those particular, you know. Uh, buttons yeah. on different uh, different artists. So yeah, I like it. But when motherfuckers is just straight up belligerent, uh, I don't get it. I I, I I like your style. You know what I mean? Your style is is very very witty, very funny. You know what I mean? You go at a person. You know it may be an insult, but you know the the even the the, the your opponent has to crack a smile a lot of times. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you know, it's like it's like they try they try it. to keep the straight face on, but they yeah. know like nah, he yeah. just said some funny, some yeah, funny they, shit. They to got me. to, they got to, they got to crack down. You know what I mean? So I and that's I and it. that's the ice and that's the ice I like to break. That's why I like to battle people mm -hmm. that's like so called on some on some tough shit. Want to be mean yeah. all the time, even though I know that's a that's a cover up. Not to say they soft, but you know sometimes right. people gotta have their game face on. See me, I like to show people you can still have the game face, but. I'm gonna find a way to make you smile some type of way, like let you know, like yo, it's okay to smile, bro. Like don't sit, like, you ain't gotta be mad the whole time. It's like nigga, what we doing ain't criminal, nigga. We having fun, you know what I mean? So it's exactly. like don't don't come in this motherfucking with criminal intentions and criminal aesthetics, you know, to a fucking Man. battle rap shit. You know what I mean? I understand, you know, you, half of your rhymes is gonna be I put a hole in you the size of. You fill in whatever fucking country you want to fill in. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, it, you you just have to be um you just have to be, you know, poetic with your shit like you do. You're po you're you're very poetic with with how you um you strike your opponent and and break them down. I don't want to sound fucking corny, but I'm gonna say it. You break your opponent down with humanity. You talk to him. You know what I mean? You like nigga, yeah. but you but hold on. When I say with humanity, don't whoever's watching this motherfucker don't think I'm saying that P B P Bills is throwing fucking rose petals at his opponents. 
he's tearing them down. But it's 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 a human way. It's not no phony shit. It's, 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 no, it's, it's to it's, it's to tear, it's to tear them down to build them back up at the same time. Yeah, re, uh, destroy and rebuild. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you destroy and rebuild. And see, you know, you know I'm gonna mean? be honest. My 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 last battle before I ended up in the hospital, I got I got destroyed. So I should I shouldn't have jumped in the ring that day, but I did. And you know, but, I ain't gonna take. I ain't gonna make no excuses. I jumped in the ring and got and got smoked. But when I get I back mean, on my feet though. I need I need that rematch. Well, you know, you know what the whole whole cliche of it, but it's the truth, right? It happens to the best. Right? Yeah. It happens to it the best. Happens. So and I'm quite sure because you're a smart person that you learned from that experience, didn't you? That's a fact. Yeah, I, le- I definitely learned. So you good. <laughs> you good that next joint is going to be vicious so but like that thought process did you did did it did it kind of bring you down when you was like oh shit i shouldn't have fucking did this so you know what i mean but you yeah. said what you said you was going uh, in and out okay yeah i'll repeat the question like when you um when you you know you lost that bout you said right did did uh and you thought about it yeah. it's like the you, you you didn't get depressed about it or anything like that, right? You just said, damn, okay, I just, you know, I got to rethink or, or what was that process? No, um, I wasn't even depressed. Actually, I end up, I end up staying for the whole, whole rest of the rest of the event. My battle went, went first. So okay. I end up staying for the whole rest of the event, just, just chilling. But, okay. um, I realized I was a little extra, extra tired, but it's like, not to make excuses, but I'm going to give people the truth. Like, you know, I, I have, have health issues. I have a muscle disease, and at that time, before I got hospitalized, it was I was going through some shit. Now that night of that battle, I actually should have just I should have went to the hospital instead of going to the battle. But that warrior spirit in me was like, I took a little nap. My girlfriend even told me she was like, "Now nah, you shouldn't even go." But I'm like, "Nah, I'm I'm good." Like I know I took a little nap, so we out. I went, you know. And the dude, dude got me. I can't make no excuses you know for my situation because you know he hey, got me. You ain't lose, bro. You ain't lose. You know what I what 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 I see that as? I guess at this old fucking age, and excuse me, I keep cursing. At this old age, and uh, and um, these gray beards, I get a little philo- philosophical or whatever the word is, right? The power yeah. hip, the 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 power hip hop compelled you, yo. You know what I mean? That's the power of hip hop. You wanted to still go, no matter whatever the fuck it was. Excuse me, whatever it was, you wanted to go. You wanted to get up and go. You wanted, to, you know, and that was hip hop. You know, I think that's that's just a layman uh, theory of it. You know what yeah. I mean? That's that's because what we talked about earlier of you being you being birthed into this. You know what I mean? You know, my whole conversation, yeah. my whole conversations about hip hop is 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 not just a one layer thing it's deeper you know what i mean you know what i mean hip hop is 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 very deep mad different layers you know what i mean the current the current yeah. state the current state of it is superficial it's a superficial layer but if you 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 want to look deeper into it you know there's some other shit going on with that and so that's why i said that that you know that um you didn't lose that. I don't give. I don't care what nobody said. You didn't lose that. You you was compelled to go there, and for that for that fact, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. You you good. You good. And and you learned from that. I, I took that. I took that. Like I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna let you watch the the footage because you know at at yeah. the event I dabbed dude up. I told him, yo, you got that, yeah. but I'm gonna, have, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna have to get a rematch on you. He he understood, but right. I'm and just the like, type of person. I don't like to make excuses. You know what I'm saying? Like some yeah, people will jump in the ring and be like, and they'd be like, oh, I only lost because of this. Like, nah, yeah. you still jumped in the ring, bro. So just accept but, what happened. Well, you you know, what you touched on as far as your, um, I am like using that word, you know what I mean? But uh, disability or, or your, your, your ability, you know, or how, you know, you want to describe it, right? You, you, you go about it as far as like you, you already like, listen, I don't want no sympathy. I want you to judge me of who I am. Right. You know, yeah. so all that, all that other, all that other stuff put to the side, let's handle it like it is. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. It's not, right. you know, people will say, okay, well, that was pride. People was like, nah, but nah, that was, that was the, the, you know, the power of hip hop. It was like, yo, 
you know, do this. And hip hop, you know what it, that's like when I was talking to MC Shan, I said he's the embodiment of hip hop because Shan has the attitude of hip hop. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the best, you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm dope. And that's what compelled you. Like, yo, I still got this dude. I got him. I can get him. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, man. that. That's a big salute. Don't never look down on that point. Not saying that you do, but don't look Appreciate down at that. that point. That shit is, you know, uh, 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 like I said in the beginning of the um, of this uh, podcast, that you one of the strongest dudes I currently know. You know what I mean? And that's how it's going to be. You know what I mean? But that's yeah, how I do, man. Gotta gotta keep it pushing, man. You know, life, life, life ain't gonna get get easy, but you know, you can make it easier by handling things properly. Like don't let things bring you down. Like feel me? Yeah, that's the whole that's that that's the whole thing. I, I I had to slowly learn myself about that. You know what I mean? That my 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 shortcomings and shit, I had to really recognize and try to work on them and try to start surrounding myself with good energy because there's so much bad energy that that's out there. You know what I mean? So I had to kind of put myself in a Yep. In a small in, in a small circle of, of 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 good energy and try to seek good energy wherever I can find it. You know what I mean? If if I if I get a bad energy detection, okay. then I'm like this. All right, I'm out. Peace. I ain't fucking with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm gone. You know what I mean? So, you know that 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 that's the thing, man. I mean, I salute you. I salute your strength. Uh, uh, your your your, your perseverance. Your love for hip hop. You know what I mean? You know, that's that that's what it is. What and and I said we was gonna leave battle rap, but nah, one 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 thing I wanted to get to is your crew, right? What uh what what is uh OTM? What does it stand for and, and what's the movement about? Um o OTM it basically stands for out out the mud. And you know, um I was I was a later addition to this crew. This crew was already put mm -hmm. together, but I knew some people in there. Shout out to my man Chop and Go Ty. He the one who brought me in the fold. Him and my man Taj Millie. Um, shout out to my other man Quan the Rebel. I know he was I think him. I think Quan the Rebel and Chop and Go they they came up with the name. So I was already going through some other things, and then I left what I left over there and mm -hmm. got added. Got added to this crew or whatever. You know, I'm kind. I'm mm -hmm. kind of like I'm basically an inactive battler right now because. Due to my situation, but you know, I'm still throwing freestyles up on Instagram yeah. and all that, still showing I got yeah. thoughts. Yeah, you gotta but, keep um, it going. Yeah, but the movement, I mean, dudes is doing their thing with the battle scene. Shout out to my man DOA. You know, he runs the control room, he's like a comedian that's down with OTM. Mm -hmm. Um uh, my sis Crystal, um, Crystal Renee, she a female battle rapper. That's my sis. I knew her for the longest. She be going and doing her thing. So um so that's enough. Um, shout out to B the MC all the way in Buffalo. He OTM. He be doing his thing as well. So anybody mm -hmm. just putting putting in that work, you know. Um, but a lot of my dudes right now, Todd Millie, Chopping, going Quan the Rebel. They they battle on John John the Don's league, um, bullpen. So they doing big things out in Atlanta mm -hmm. right now. So they really they really holding it down. That's what's up to the, to the max. That's what's you know up. What I mean? I'm trying. To, I'm trying to once I'm back standing on my feet again, back mm -hmm. out back, I don't know out this wheelchair. I'm definitely gonna be in in the ring. Even though some people say, "Yo, man, get in the ring with mm -hmm. the wheelchair," you know. <laughs> At one point, I thought I thought about it, but mm -hmm. then I'm like, "Nah, let me let me get my situation right." Like, let yeah. me let well, me you get know, on that, be yeah. back in the full. Like, you know, take 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 the time that you need is necessary, bro. You know what I mean. And like I said, you know, hip hop compels you to 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 do it, but you know, just don't do it at the right time that you feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just to be honest, yeah. though, seeing 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 my team out there cooking, doing what they want to do, that it get it gets me hyped to want to be be yeah. out there cooking. But I know I gotta gotta yeah. do what I gotta do first. Well, you just get that 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 pen, you know what I mean? And and all your free time, you know. And I'm telling you things that you already know, but just just for conversation's sake. You get that pen, yeah. you get that pen going, get that pen hot as fire. You know what I mean? You know, to, you know, that, that, that Tupac work ethic, you know what I mean? Like just keep that, yeah. that pen rocking and rolling. And you know, when, when, whenever, you know, the time is, then you boom, here it go. 
And I got new shits after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but this is what I've been doing so far. You know what I mean? So that 200... <laughs> That 200 songs is about to go to 350 real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, get, get crazy. <laughs> get crazy. It's like what's crazy is I, I do got a whole nine-song EP in the in the stash. I was supposed to um record that and have it out before I ended up in my situation being hospitalized eight months ago. But you know, it's it's still it's still gonna come. Once I get my own like in-house studio equipment and all that, then right. I'll be able to teach myself how to mix and master, record my own shit. And right. get it right, but you know, I would I would have loved to have that EP out already, but I still got yeah. it in the stash. So that, that don't mean it's going anywhere. It's like you know, I just give me a chance to maybe update things and advance it. You know, make and, it make it better than what it already is. Right, right, right. No doubt that that's something that uh did, that you definitely gotta gotta somehow get get together and 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 get out there. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. definitely. You know, all uh, um. Want to talk about your your you know your music too, right? Uh, yeah. What 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 joints do you got out? I know we talked about the the one that's on um on that piff, but um what other projects you got out? Or are you working on? Uh, let's see if I start from uh, my my two my two thousand nineteen project I dropped. You might you might have heard it. Um, it was called "It Only Gets Dirtier." That was. That was when I was with the um with mm -hmm. the Doja. I don't know if you I don't know if you right. heard that album. Yeah, the Doja. I know. I know yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's, right. that's when I was working working with them. Right. I dropped that. And, um. Then what happened? Uh, as you see the the fuck them all video. Mm -hmm. I think that video was about to be a year old, but you know that could get viewed. Um, my man, my man Franjas, he featured me on the joint called um, They Hater, where he came up to the um when I was. In the rehab facility, he came. He came up to the rehab. We shot the video there. Crazy thing yeah. with that is, we even recorded the song there too. Like he brought his portable, he brought his portable studio. We recorded the song there one week, and then the next week we shot the video. So we got that joint done in like a two week span. Yeah, that joint right there. Um, we gonna play it. We gonna play it in a little bit, right? But yeah. uh. I was gonna to talk to you about that, but you know you you you're talking about it right now, so I jump right into it. Incredible video, incredible video. Um, please, if you're on YouTube, support it. Um, you know it's 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 a deep motherfucking video. My man, friend, my man Franges, who featured me on the song, he he shot that video as well. So not only not only is he an artist, but he know how to shoot videos too. Oh man, dope video. It reminded me of this. Um, I forgot what the movie was. Uh, it was a movie back in the days. It was, um, I think it, it was called Birdie. I think it was called Birdie with Nicolas yeah. Cage. Look it up. I think it's called Birdie with Nicolas Cage. And the video reminded me a lot of of that movie. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I have to watch that movie. I never seen that. I, I believe it's called Birdie. It's one of Nicolas Cage's yeah. early early films. And when you when you go to Google or go to YouTube and you and you uh and you do the trailer or whatever, you immediately yeah. you immediately gonna go, okay, I know why Toe said that. You know what I mean? I, I know yeah. why Toe. And I'm not sure if, uh uh Fran Franez, uh Franges. Fran Franges, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Fran uh I'm I'm not sure if um that was an inspiration for him. If if it wasn't, um uh kudos if it was kudos, because that's deep, you know what I mean? That's yeah. deep. Not too many people know about that, but um, yeah, incredible video. Um, I I love it. I I'm still melancholy about the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still yeah. melancholy about the end of the video, but I love it. I love it. It's 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 it's, it's just real. Yeah. It's, it's what, what, real what, what it. about what about the end? What about the end? Got you got you melancholy with? No, it's dope. When I say melon, it's a oh, melancholy my. dope. You know what I mean? But I, I mean it's it's sobering. I'll say that. When yeah. when 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 we watch the, the end of the video at the if you know at the end of this uh uh you know uh, segment in podcast, you know, we'll play it. Um mm -hmm. but it's dope. It's dope. And like I said, it's just a sobering moment. You know what I mean? It's a sobering yeah. moment when you see it and and salute to them. You know what I mean? Salute to both y'all for for putting that together. And uh, in doing it, 
but yeah, you know, um, uh, the 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 point now is you you say you got um that and what else is out? What else is coming out? Yeah, um, so yeah, it only gets dirty. I dropped that in 2019. Right. Um, after that, I had my own my own singles, which you can find on um all streaming services. Um, spot from Spotify to Apple Music. Um, with the song I had the song "Tell Me Something." Mm-hmm. You know, um, that's a song where I had my face on the on the like little little um little devil body, which which is an energy I stopped playing with after my experience. I'm like, now nah, you can't play with certain yeah. energies. Even though I was just cracking the joke, but it's still like you bring certain yeah. things to yourself playing with things. Yeah, and then, yeah um, I understand that. Then well, what I had dropped, um, I dropped a, another song this year with um my homie Demo called "Rolling Loud." Mm-hmm. Um, that was that was in preparation towards the EP I was supposed to do before I went through my went through my situation. Right. I had dropped that song. That song bubbled for a minute, and then the last song I had dropped, you know, featuring featuring my bro Kevin Ventures, your your, your right. nephew is um must must be dreaming. That's mm-hmm. that's the, that's my last joint. I I put yeah. out everything else I got I got in the stash. I just got to get to get around to some things to to record. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna make that happen. But in the midst of time. I'm going to still keep writing and still do what I do. Still drop IG freestyles. You know, I'll be on the Instagram posting them yeah, so just to show I still got boss. Yeah, you got those in your in, in your other Instagram posts that be having me cracking up funnier than a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Your, your, sense, of humor, yeah. your sense of humor is sharp. You know what I mean? Your sense of humor is sharp. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely when everybody go, yeah. go follow P Bills, y'all see what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? He's funny, funny, some funny stuff, perspective. You know what I mean? Um, what is uh um what's your thoughts of of the the current state of hip hop as we see it right now? Um to me now with uh Griselda being out. No Snoop Dogg just dropped the Algorithm album. Um, Havoc and Styles P dropped the album together, Wreckage Manor. I personally feel like the state of hip hop, you know, it's 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 balanced to me right now. Like now, now I see more balance. It ain't it ain't just leaning towards so, what what's called the, the towards shit. the bubble gum shit. Like right. nobody nobody could say hip hop hip hop is dead because. It's alive and well. Like now, if you still saying hip hop is dead, that's because you're looking in the wrong places. You ain't right. opening your eyes. Right, right, right. That's true indeed. Now, I mean, it, it, it definitely. Uh, I say we still got a little bit more to go, but it's definitely seemed to be leveling out a little bit more. You know what I mean? Than yeah. it was than it was a few years ago. You know what I mean? I mean, I can still that's do. Funny. I can still personally do without a couple of a uh, couple of artists that's still in the game. You know what I mean? I, yeah. You know, if they was to get Thanos snapped, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be. Too. So you know who I gotta bring out? Would you? Would you feel like that about Drake? You know, you know I gotta bring out Drake. We had, we had our little debate about Drake. <laughs> All right. So this show, this, this, this show, this show might, might get canceled after this episode, I guess, because Drake is powerful. Nah, they, it ain't gonna get canceled. But this is nothing. This is nothing disrespectful towards him. It's just. uh and it's not my 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 cup of tea, you know. What not, I mean? not your cup of tea. Uh, because I guess I'm an old school. I'm a gray bed. I'm um. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a. I'm an admirer of um, of 1990s golden era aesthetics of hip hop, you know, and yeah. um the 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 honeydew. The honeydew girl. I understand. You no, know, Pac said it. Pac said you gotta make you know, gotta make records for the women. You can't make records for the dudes because you make records for the dudes. You ain't gonna buy. You know, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna sell. You gotta make them for the. And that is a a, a tried and true formula, right? But yeah. But you know, I mean, if that's all you do, you know what I mean. But I'm and, saying, let's think about this though. You you never. You never heard Drake spit no good balls, like at all. You to you, you never felt like Drake spit any good balls. You know what? Okay, but see, that's where we getting into the to the to the old um, 
the old uh, arguments that that that'll be fresh right now is that once it was you know all right I'm on my boy it was I forgot what fucking years it's two thousand and something he was telling me he was like yo yo Drake is nice yo this this is that I'm like word I'm like yeah because I'm 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 fucking Wu Tang mob deep I'm grungy I'm yeah. hoodie. I'm, I'm hoodie rap. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, this nigga's nice. I'm like, all right, cool. So then, you know, his, I saw his popularity started going up. And I'm like, all right, this kid must be um must be nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm seeing they start to get real popular, right? So uh, <laughs> it gets to a certain point where everything comes out where he doesn't write his own lyrics. You know what I mean? And that the ghost, the ghost, the yeah, ghost, the ghost writing, the ghost writing scandal. Even yeah, though you know, we, we both know ghost writing been existing before yeah. Drake even came out. Yeah, I mean, but you know, my thing is, I mean, I hope some of the the the, the, the people that I like uh didn't have ghost writers, you know. What I mean, collaborators and ghost writers is two different things, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh uh and then I'm like, oh, I get it, I get it. You know, my perspective, I could still be totally wrong about this. So my perspective, I said, oh, I get it. All right. He, he He's an actor who is playing a rapper. Right. And he's he's being targeted towards a certain generation. And that generation they know is going to eat it up. But is he a skillful, lyrical hip hop artist? No, he's not. That's who I usually like to listen to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's not my cup of tea. Yeah, it, you say that did I ever hear him spit? Yeah, he spit some hot fire. I I, I suppose. So you but you but see him more as me, a dude that it'd be more of a dude. He he can he know how to make good songs and and hits like that and stay relevant. You can you could at least give him that. Quite yeah, sure you could yeah, give like him that. Like, yeah, he's, he's much like um he's much like an R and B singer. Who who yeah. gets a, who gets who gets all the awards? But then when you look in the credits, it's a bunch of writers that that Rick wrote for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know it's, it's you know they it's, say with ghostwriting, um, even if a person somebody in the studio with you, like say me and you in the studio together, and you you tell me to change a word or or you get or you tell me to change a line, I change no. that could that could go towards writers' credit. Yeah, but I, that that's some boy. If I wrote ninety five percent of the shit and you help me with a uh, a, a a syllable and a yeah. fucking and a noun over here, you ain't write it. You know what I mean? That was uh yeah. okay. Yeah, that's cool or whatever like that. If I wrote a majority of it, that's why I think they 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 had the conversation of about Nas and was saying that um that uh that dead prez. You know, yeah, I think it was somebody from Dead Prez, Stick Stickman or M1, wrote uh, a lot of Nas shit. And I, I doubt shit was comical to me. You know what I mean? When it's Drake, you have the full plate served to you. You not only you see, you know what it is? I think, I think, I think that's just just rumored after he did after that Quentin Miller situation went back. Because remember, we ain't had nothing about no ghostwriting stuff. Right, so after that situation happened. Because he saw that was a chink in his armor and he paid a whole lot of money to have that shit erased. Yeah, that's why we don't hear about it. Because you know the 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 majority of the of the young hip hop public, like I said, I might get canceled after this, damn. But the majority of the young hip hop public, the current young hip hop public, not you, my brother, are yeah. not that are not that smart. And that they easily they easily can be swayed, right? They easily they can easily be swayed. Right, so they, they yeah, we, we we went through years of you know, I believe people downplaying the 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 foundation and the, and the elements of hip hop that we were so strict on, right? Like no yeah. biting, <clears throat> no biting, no write your own shit, you know things like that. And and over the years, I think that has gotten saturated to where like the youth, you know, they be like, oh man, fuck all that. It's like that. What are you trying to do? Kick knowledge shit. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, that kind of that kind of mentality. You know what I mean? So I just think that, you know, Drake is a is a good, good pop artist. Um, I'm I'm happy that he loves battle rap and he respects that. You know what I mean? But I just think that, you know, as far as him as a a, a, a lyricist, he's not. You know what I mean? He's not. I think it's served to him on a platter. 
Plus, you got a reference track of how to say it. You know what I mean? And this is how it goes. And ball, it's easy work for him. It ain't hard work. Oh, what's that? Oh, nah, that's dope. Yeah, you wrote that? Oh, that's dope. I'm going to say it just like that. You know what I mean? I don't feel like everything was 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 written for him. Like, I feel like he might have got some things written for him, probably to give give others an opportunity. I just look at other possibilities of 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 things. But, you know, if you're going to say you're the best, though, don't be on that. Like, if you, if know, you ain't writing everything, don't don't get in that conversation, you know, like, saying, you, like, you know, top you dog know, you know what I, I think he did write? I think, he, I think he wrote the line where he says, and this is this is when I got off the bus right here. Yeah. It's I'm not going because I, I don't remember it per verbatim ver, well, verbatim. Uh yeah. Still, he says, uh I'm uh I'm a light skinned nigga, but still a dark <laughs> nigga. Something like that. I'm still light skinned, but I'm still a Yo, dark nigga. I knew you was gonna say. I knew it was going. I, I, Yo, had to an, I had to analyze that between that I'm, and the, and the, and the Wu Tang song he did. Between those two songs, I had to sit back and analyze Drake for a minute. Like, like I, when I first when I first heard the ball, yeah, I'm light skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. Yeah, like at first, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say I was like, I, I was like, I was like, wait. Because I, I like Drake, but I was like, wait, what the fuck is this? Until some some people broke it down and gave me a perspective when they said, maybe when he said he's a light, he light-skinned but still a dark nigga, maybe he got an evil side to him. Some Ooh. people, of course, they went to the conspiracies. Like, Ooh. they said, maybe he Illuminati. Then I man, started whoa, whoa. thinking, I said, you know what? All right. Oh, oh, you on to something right that's, there. That's... Maybe, he's, <laughs> may, maybe he's Illuminati. Maybe, uh, uh, and maybe something with with Astro World. Maybe something with with sacrifice. <laughs> God bless. God it bless. It only gets dirtier. It only gets dirtier. Oh, oh, all right, Peter. All those from Astro World. I mean, uh, Astro World. Uh, that was pretty. Yeah. Not 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 disrespecting any of those, but what you saying? I'm just saying. He's saying he has a dark soul, so he was exposing himself right there. Me, I took it as some, some racial. People, shit. Some people feel like he was exposing himself. Some people yeah. feel like that. Well, maybe maybe I got it wrong then, because I just thought he was on some ignorant, uh, uh, you know, me. And I guess that it hit me in my ego being a dark nigga. You know what I mean? See that? Yeah. You know? See how yeah, you said your ego hit you with being that you dark? Yeah. My my ego hit me with being that I'm light-skinned. <laughs> the fact like we supposed to be sticking together. He say he light-skinned, <laughs> but still a dark nigga. I had to look. I looked at myself like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had us both fucked up, P. We both was fucked up. That's what I'm I saying. Said, wait, yeah, like I said, this what? Is the, this is the power of Drake. This is the power, the power of Drake, the mystical power of Drake. He just, this is what he does. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it's like, hey, if that's good for you, that's good for you. That's just not, um, and God bless him. It's just not my, um, you know, my particular brand of music. I don't even call it hip hop. It's just not my particular brand of um of music, yeah. Yeah, so I know I know I know what you would enjoy. Did, have you heard the Styles P and Havoc album yet? I haven't heard the album. Heard the uh, a couple of songs, especially the 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 first video that they put out there. And what Nightmares of Dreams? Yeah, yeah, that shit had me like, yo. I'm, I'm telling you good. right now, you gonna you gonna enjoy that Wreckage Manage album. Re um, wreckage manners they put out. It's great. You You're heard it already. You heard it already. Of course, I I done bumped that album like six times already. <laughs> All right, then I know we got to stand for approval. Then look, the night the night it dropped on Spotify at midnight. Yeah, I was already listening to it. Soon wow. as it dropped. Wow, man, and yeah, I got it. I got a lot of stuff I got to catch up on, and that's definitely when I heard that I, I clicked into that video, and I was like, these kids is going in. They going in, you know what I mean? I'm like, this is crazy, man. You know, tell us about your beautiful family, man. I, right, you know, my my kids, man. They, they, they my, they my hearts, man. They see me, they see me as 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 a superhero. You know, as they should. It's, it's Christmas, it's, it's Christmas time right now, so you know, they're trying to empty my pockets out, which you know. But you know, it's it's all good. You know, for them, it's all good. You know. 
It's all it's all good. They both they both doing good in school. Mm-hmm. You know, doing doing what they gotta do. And so you, uh, I, I can't complain. You have um you have a daughter, son. I have I have I I have both. I have a daughter and a son. My son is the oh. oldest. Okay, what's their names? My son name, his name is Quadir, and my daughter name is Nalia. Hey y'all, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> you know, that's what's up, man. Salute. Oh, they, they, they get they get big. Yeah. Always asking me questions and stuff like that. You know, I don't mind talking to my kids, keeping them in tune with certain things and in apparently matter. Right. Right, definitely, definitely. Do they have um? Do you see they love uh a music and hip hop the same same love that you have? Well, I see um. My my son, he like my son like more. He he like he like to dance more than anything. I see my son, he like mm-hmm. he like to dance. So mm-hmm. who knows? Maybe he might be some be be choreographer or something like that one day. Never right. they never know. He because he like to dance. Well, it starts with the rhythm. My, you know my, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My daughter on the other end, she she heavy into her video games right now. She she love Fortnite, so oh, she's yeah. stuck on that. But I, I see I see little little music things in her. She like to sing here and there and stuff like that. But ain't she more stuck on her Fortnite. Ain't it hip hop on Fortnite? Don't they be playing hip hop music? Yeah. There we go. Then it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. That's dope. Oh, That's real I'm, dope, man. I'm let, I'm letting them just. I'm the type of parent like I just. I don't try to like force certain things on the kid or be like, "Hey, this is what you need to do." Like I, I let them. I let them see what they like, and mm-hmm. they come to me and and tell me what they like and how they feel about certain things. Right. That's what's up, man. And and uh, you know that um, that's dope, and that's like you know. That's the real thing. Besides everything else that you're doing, uh, as far as like you know, in the hip hop game and 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 trying to you know further your your career with that, you know what I mean. To balance that, to balance that out with with your family and with your you know your kids is um that's real. That's strength. That's power. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do I mean your 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 you want to say disabilities or on how do you you mm-hmm. do it? How do you you um. You, yeah, you go through it. You know what I mean. Well, basically, um, starting off, I just, I just go through what I go through at first. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I come out of that. I just, you know, of course, I'm human at the end of the day. So it be times I be, I be down. But in the midst of things, I learn to um, look, look more of my blessings, appreciate what I got, and um, just do my best to keep myself in high spirits. And plus, I'm also the type of person. I don't like to sit around complaining and crying all day and that's looking right. for sympathy. That's 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 not what I that's not what I do, and that's why I try to pass that energy off to to others who may feel down or feel like they ain't got nobody to talk to. Right. You know, when I when I got the time, I, I I'll definitely talk to them and let them know like, you know what's going on. Get them give them give them some of my good energy. Right. You know, some people right. see my Instagram videos. Like I've 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 got DMs from other people. With disabilities, and they be like, "Yo, you gave me a good laugh for the day. I was feeling down. I needed that." So, I don't be caring about the likes and views like that. It's just if I can touch a few people and make their day feel better, it's all that really matter to me. That's what's up. That's what's up, and that—that's definitely what uh, I feel the same way. That's all. You know, <clears throat> that really matters to me. It's not about the likes or views. You know what I mean? As long as some good energy, people hear the conversation and can be inspired or could smile. Then you know, we did our job. You know what I mean? We did our job. But yeah, definitely. I mean, you, I mean, a salute to you. You are, um, you are inspiration, brother. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, inspired every time I'm seeing you. Uh, you put a post up whenever you kick your your sixteens on uh, on IG. Sure. I'm inspired. You know what I mean? So P Bills is 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 uh, is a great great human being. And he's a hip hop fan, straight up and down. You know what I mean? And um, you know, on top of that, he's a he's a great father and he's doing what he's doing. And, you know, it's all about support, people. It's all about support. You know what I mean? And um, you know, uh if I can do anything to to help P Bill achieve, you know, some kind of goal of 
of getting um you know some equipment to to uh to record on or or uh or you know doing whatever kind of support that he can do if i can facilitate that message out there you know um then let me be it i mean you know uh let people know about your cash app we're gonna put it up on uh on the screen you know what i mean and definitely support is needed and support is love and it's it's um you know it's going to the right place so yeah you know um let them know about your cash app or or any information that that uh that the you know the people out there if they wanted to they you know they can mm -hmm. support you shout shout out to first and foremost shout out to anybody who who would like to support um my cash app is is philip brian and that's spelled um p-h-i-l-l-i-p brian spelled b-r-i-a-n you know you know how cash app go put the dollar sign first and fill up brian once again i'm, I'm gonna spell that for you put the dollar sign first fill up the spell p-h-i-l-l-i-p brian b-r-i-a-n that's the cash up shout out and love i appreciate whatever help i can get definitely you know, it's like definitely um, be a blessing yeah definitely it's not only you know um p you know trying to complete his 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 albums and his work and just having time to um to create while while you know while he gets while he gets better and heal and definitely any support even besides if it's not money then holla at p holla at him you know what i mean holla at him at his instagram what's your instagram again the, the instagram is on um, p bills 313 to 914 underscore otm that's spelled p b i l l s 313 to 914 underscore otm all the letters is on um, lowercase yeah and what you do is you know good energy we all need to feed off and get good energy and get fat off it so send p you know p some good energy you know what i mean you know uh, he'll definitely send that right back to you, and let's keep this going. Let's right keep back. this, yeah. Let's keep this energy going. You know, I'm, I'm honored yeah. to be to be on your show. Happy you you reached out to me, so you know, yeah, man. I'm, I'm appreciating uh, all the love. So you know, I'll definitely be back, be back so around. This, so this is part one. All right, this is part one. Part two is coming mm -hmm. real soon. Me and P Bills. You know what I mean? Um, love you, brother. Keep striving. Keep doing what you do. Get that pen on fire. You, you too, know what my I mean? brother. Love, love you. Yeah. Love keep, you as well, man. Salute. Keep working, yeah. man. Love you too, man. Keep, keep keep creating. You know what I mean? We creators for the fact that we creators that makes us gods. You know what I mean? Because we create. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, it's 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 been a pleasure, brother. You know what I mean? It's been a pleasure, true yeah, pleasure. One day, I'm, I'm still with I'm still with doing a video with you too, like. Like, yeah, I gotta make that happen. That's on my yeah. bucket list. Well, you know, I'm 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 gonna be coming up to New York here and there. So each time that I come up to New York, I just gotta take the temperature where you at and see how we could do the schedule or whatever like that. But if you got a song or whatever, send it through. I you know, do some visuals on that. You know what I mean? You know how we do, you know what I mean? You know, so yeah, it's it's yeah. open. But, you know, but it's, anytime I always I always wanted a, a lyric, a lyric video, so I, I can definitely send you a song. Yeah, a lyric you, video too. And your lyrics is prevalent that if you put the motherfuckers on the wall, they become art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I be saying. So yeah, let's let's yeah. um let's work. Hit me up in the DM. You know how we do, or you know the number or whatever that we got to do. You know what I mean? You know. But yeah, um, definitely P Bills. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, the Pinoy Podcast. This is my homie. Uh, much love. Um. Let's let's look at a video, man. Uh, let's go with the uh, the Fran Jazz joint. You said, yeah, Fran Fran Jazz featuring me, P Bills. They hate us. They hate us, yo. Watch this video. It's dope. Salute, Pinoy Podcast. Much love. Peace. Much love to you too, so Salute.
tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. I always been myself, he been himself, while everybody else is on a rack and shelf. They hate us cause we are ourselves, oh well You can keep the hating to yourself P already told you that it's bad for your health Being yourself, something you probably never felt Take some time out to get to know yourself You're out here looking exactly like everybody else A few seconds to think, all the things that you know All the things you've been fed, on the TV and phone It wakes you up in the morning, at night it tucks you in bed Your body is just a vessel, who you are's in your head Ah. Uh. Who you are is in your head, put that to work that's Be work. yourself, don't be a fraud jerk nah. But you can't, and that's why I'm laughing uh-huh. Oversized fittings, you, you used to big capping what, what happened? Your world got your head spinning, spinning. Left with no laser, stand out for trying to fit in so Learn to be different. different, get yourself right full And stop throwing up gang signs Cause you think it's cool, what else? there's other routes to go Plenty other options, but you let others tell you what's popping stop. Not a leader, but in your body, you a follower. Things take you out of your zone. Won't see tomorrow, bro. Come on. Stop caring about what other people think. Cause they ain't gonna help you when your life sink. When you yourself, you find a place of peace. Learn to avoid shit that brings out your beast. But if the beast come out, they wanted it that way. Sometimes you can only get respect that way. A lot more to say that will hurt your feelings. Crush your soul while giving you healing. Oh, my bully man. I came here to murder ya Still doing me while it only gets dirty ya It's bills, it's bills Nobody thinks about you after you die So you might as well live while you're alive Close your eyes, change your mind, change your life Put your ego and your pride aside Find out what makes you really happy inside I'm not talking about your body, I'm talking inside of you Your body is just a vessel who you was in your head You might as well be yourself because you can't when you're dead Because you can't when you're dead You might as well be yourself because you can't when you're dead Because you can't when you're dead You might as well be yourself Because you can't when you're dead